Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are hanging out in Satisfactory again today. Kicking off the week, getting into the Sunstreaker factory, hopefully finishing off the shape design and mirroring the designs, making sure we've got a back on the factory because currently it has, it has no back. Uh, and we have to figure out how to increase the production on a few things and make sure that we're getting some extra plastic uh, some extra circuit boards and uh, the computers are currently not going anywhere. So they're all just being uh, banked and stored, but I need to figure out how that's all going to happen. So I need to do some number crunching and see if we can increase the plastic to start and then we'll uh, go from there. Uh, good to see sweet Sandy blast Jordan J Christ in the chat penguin dude. Everyone's hanging out. We've got uh, stream stickers are a thing now. We have those on the channel. So if you're interested in those, you can click the little heart, which should be over here somewhere on stream. Uh, give you a chance to um, support your favorite creators. Sometimes uh, other creators have the stream stickers on as well. It's a lot of fun. Four bits. Exactly, Sweet Sandy. It is. Uh, you can also check out things like Patreon or the latest episode of The Spawn Chunks, which is available for free on YouTube. That came out yesterday. Episode number 320. Wow, we've done a lot of those, uh, but it was a really good conversation. We had uh, a lot of email from people in the community talking about the pale garden biome and how they thought that there could be some improvements. And so the whole episode was just themed after the, the pale garden. And Mind Trip Media, speaking of bits, has used 100 bits. That was during the starting soon screen. Thank you very much, Mind Trip. Very much appreciated. Cheers for that. Uh, let's flip over and get in to the game. I logged in ever so briefly just to do some uh, screenshots for the YouTube the YouTube VOD. That's available actually right now on Joel Duggan VODs too. So everything is up to date on the YouTube channel. Okay. So, uh, I removed the color from the front because it, it really wasn't working for me. I kept the geometry. So, we still have this extra layer here. This depth. And I added this black line down the middle of the windows to make them look less like eyeballs. Uh, but obviously, we've not done anything over here. And we've got a full day, so that's good. Uh, I should probably... I should probably start with the number crunching while my brain is working at top capacity. Well, top, mostly. I don't know if it's ever working at top capacity. I do like these little red shelves that we put in. I think that's what, those are great. I think we might continue some of those down through here. Uh, that could be cool. And I also need to think about the numbers. Uh, so right now, we're backed up on circuit boards. And we shouldn't be because this is producing 2.5 and 2.5 so five computers a minute and so that means that means we need 20 circuit boards and we are producing 7.5 7.5 is 15 and five so we're producing 20 but for some reason we're getting extra I don't quite know why. And then the plastic is also backing up a little bit because it then slows down and stops. And it should be just a steady flow. So I guess I'll make a note. This is at 315. And we'll see if that grows at all while we're out doing stuff. But in, in theory, we shouldn't have any extra. It should all be being turned into computers because this is also 20 cable, 20 cable for a total of 40 cable. And this is making 40 cable per minute. So, <clears throat> we're fine for cable. We've got cable being made elsewhere for storage. Uh, but the plastic I want to increase and the um, circuit boards I want to increase. 
So if we were to increase the circuit boards, we're doing five per minute here. Let's say we wanted to do six per minute. We would need an extra four plastic per minute. So really all I need to do is add one one refinery or I could just overclock one of the refineries up there currently to give us more. We've done five stacks of episodes on SpongeBob. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. We have. We are just going to ride that train back. And thank you, Sandy. I appreciate the heads up. Uh, I can't check my inventory while I'm in the train, but I think I should have everything I need. Don't forget to click the mouse when the bobber gets bit. There's no fishing in Satisfactory yet. Although I've got the feeling we're going to have to start thinking about some alien technology stuff now that we're getting into tier 7 and 8. I'd like to try and do some aluminum, but I don't know how we're going to get that going. If we do aluminum, we should maybe get the closest bauxite to the oil. It's probably the best way to do it. I should scan for some bauxite while we're out here. Pretty sure there's one up on the ridge. <clears throat> it's so nice to have a train network now, or at least the startup one. So until we're producing a lot more plastic, um, which we could probably just do, if four plastic a minute is not a lot. I might want to do more than that. We'll probably go with a full refinery. Uh, why are we going down here? That was an odd turnaround. Are you not going to the Mirage for pickup? That seems a little strange. I thought it would have come in here. Sunstreaker. Oh, does it have to come all the way down here to go to Sunstreaker? Interesting. Okay. Um, edits the timetable. It should go that way. Sunstreaker, Wheeljack, Mirage. Yeah. So I must have messed around with the order. Glad I glad I took the train. So this is going to be doing. 20 plastic per minute. Uh, this is doing 30 crude oil. Sweet Sandy gifted a tier one sub to J. Christ. That's amazing, Sandy. Thank you ever so much. Really appreciate it. J. Christ, if you have not already, connect your Discord and your Twitch accounts. And we'll see you in the Joel Duggan Discord. That'll be good for a month. Uh, and Sandy, I don't know whether. The Nitro thing applies to gift subs, or if it's just Twitch Tier 1s. But uh, right now, Twitch has got a promotion on until the 31st that if you, uh, if anybody out there decides to use a Tier 1 sub on the channel, then you get three months of Discord Nitro. 
No idea. Wanted to test. Well, thanks very much, Sweet Sandy. I really appreciate that. Uh, there should be a link. If you do bang Nitro in chat, uh, you'll get a link to the Twitch article that explains Discord Nitro. And what it is and how to get it. It works. Awesome. Uh, you know what? I should adjust that command then, Sandy. I'll do that right now while I think about it. Uh, let me just hop over to Nightbot. And... That is Nitro... Or by gifting a sub. Submit. Cool. So that should reflect the fact that gift subs are also part of it now. Sweet. <clears throat> so I'm going to want more plastic. Currently we are making exactly 180, I think. 160. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Right. So I'm just going to add another one. And I think the most logical place is going to be on the end here. The only thing that's troubling with that is that we're going to have heavy oil residue. And right now, that'll add 10 to the heavy oil residue. And are we utilizing both of these? 60 and 60. No. Okay, cool. So we're not going to overload these guys. I may have to add a fuel gen, though. All right, cool. So that does not affect anything too bad. Do I have room down here for another one, or should I just wait? And add one to the other end. Oh, I've got room. I think I can squeeze one of these guys in here. I'm going to move this power pole, though. Eventually. That will just have to connect up to here and also connect up to here. All right, these didn't snap last time, did they? did not sound like it connected. Which I don't like. So that adds uh, plastic. So all the, the only thing we'll have to do is add a power shard to the uh, input to the um, oil. Is that's 
30. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's 270. I think we're only doing 240 over here. Sweet Sandy. Going after Dan right away. <laughs> That's actually quite funny. I looked over to see, like, Sweet Sandy has timed out Dan. What? Why? Now I know. All right, so this will just be at 112.5%, uh, doing a full 270. And we should actually make a note of that so that I don't get um, turned around here. Back up a little bit. This is doing... Plastic plus Sunstreaker. Actually, plus power. Okay. So that means that we now have 9 times 10. So that's 90. This is going to take 60. This is going to take 30. I guess I just let this go. Oh, this is, they're both going to be going at um, 60% or 66% or something like that. So that's fine. So the current rate is it's like 67%, 68. So it's capacity is 120 and we've got 90. So that's 75%. So eventually they should hit 75, right? Yeah. So 75% of 80 is 60, which means we should now be fueling three of the four. Yeah. So maybe what I should do, because these guys are producing, what did I say it was? 60. And that's only enough for three? Yeah. So I should turn this guy off. Just to remember, I've got one on standby out here, should I need to. Now, the question is, are you producing plastic and getting it anywhere? You are not. Why are you not connecting to this? That is incredibly frustrating. I'm noticing this a lot with lifts. They're just not connecting. And you just have to rebuild them, but it's just it's frustrating. Uh, so 20 times 9 is 180. Uh, that is more than capable of handling 180. Okay, so now we have an extra 20 plastic per minute coming in. And that's all set up. So now, where's my train? Just missed it. All right. Fair enough. The Wormbo. I see mod on VIP violence. Is it safe to come out yet? <laughs> <laughs> well played. <laughs> I like the shade being thrown at Sandy for a little typo. That's funny. Welcome in the Wormbo. Hope you're having a good day.
trying to figure out how to see the nitro thingy on Discord. Um, it should be at the bottom of Discord near your user account, I think. I don't have Nitro myself. I guess I probably should. I've thought about adding Nitro to my server, but it's just an extra cost that I don't know whether people really want. Or I am going to be revamping my Patreon in the next couple months, and so um, I need to look at what what Nitro offers. You think you found where to redeem them? Cool. Thanks, Andy. I should probably take down the Imp and Skiz podcast reminder. We're getting... A little close. It's been up for a while. Alright, so now in theory, we're going to be having more than 160 per minute coming in here. So it was an extra 20. And so I need to do two things. I need to create overflow for plastic. And I need to make more circuit boards. So I could probably make this do seven per minute. Or 7.5 per minute. There we go. So that's an extra 10 plastic. So this goes back up to 100%, so that's fine. So that takes 10 out of the extra 20 plastic, which means that we should also get extra plastic. And that means I have to have an overflow here for plastic as well as circuit boards. But like, for example, this should be going overflow. Why? I guess it just started moving at the last second. Still at 115. So all that time we were away, it didn't do anything. That's good. Is this going to go? Okay, so there we go. There's our trickle of overflow for circuit boards. Uh, we are also going to need the same for plastic. And that's why this is here. right in the middle yes And it should only need is a basic belt. I could probably just get rid of this actually and just go straight. So now we have plastic overflow. Now, technically, I probably could and should use overflow on these guys, but I'm going to leave it like it is for now. So now we have computers, plastic, and circuit boards being stored here. I still don't know why these are backed up so slow though. These should be even. They shouldn't be, these shouldn't be stuttering. It should be just an even flow. So I do have computers now going to the awesome sink because we've actually filled up the computer box. And what I could do and probably should do is, um, oh, fell off the cliff, is, um, Decide where I'm going to keep the computer box. I think 
the idea was to kind of bring them up to the train or have the capacity to bring them up to the train. But I don't, this is not making enough computers, I think, that we're going to be sending them on anywhere else. Um, I don't think the game tells us the other things that the computer needs. Right, so adaptive control units. We don't have any other recipes that they're used in. It's just building. Uh, computers. So they are used in radio control units, but we're miles away from that. And I would be building more computers, I think. Yeah, when we get into supercomputers and other stuff, we would probably want to be having like a dedicated larger line with more stuff. So I don't really think I need to worry about shipping the computers out. It's good that we can. If anything, it would be fun to ship them over to the other um, storage facility. But for now, I think I'll store them here. So I guess in terms of progression, then, the next thing we need to set in motion is the next tier. And then we'll come back over here and decorate some stuff. I added some yellow trim to the door, which I quite like. It's fun. I apologize if you can hear the construction in the background. I believe there's some renovations happening in the building that I did not know about. Um, my mic is usually pretty good at keeping that stuff out, but it's kind of low frequency and, and banging. I don't see anything on the meters, so that's probably a good, a good sign. Not that. Uh, so we need aluminum sheets and everything else is cake. Uh, that'll give us the hover pack. And then we need aluminum sheets and everything else is also very easy and that'll give us the Mark 5s. So we need 300 aluminum sheets minimum. We sort of fixed that. I think it's just all clad, isn't it? Smelters for underclock. I don't remember what I was supposed to do for that. I think that was supposed to be for the copper. Loki, hello, good to see you. Hope you're having a good day so far. Um, so we've got hover pack, so we need 300 aluminum sheets. I was meant to scan for aluminum while I was out at the oil fields. Nuts. Another eight tickets though. I was thinking about this the other day. DNA points are also things that you can make in constructors, which means that you could use the summer slope on them too. So early game, summer sloop, for um, expansions of your um, power shards and tickets is really, really valuable. Coupons, don't have any in there. So it's just the eight that we have in our hand. Hmm. Probably a floor pattern. More options with floor patterns is probably good. Dotted lines. Arrows? I like the arrows. 
Uh, those could be fun. Those could also be fun. So, what's a good combination? Um, I'll get dotted lines, arrows, and then one of these two. I like this one. Use the arrows to make it like Ikea? Yeah, they're pretty big. They're pretty big. Well, they won't show up on this floor anyway. Um, maybe on this one. Yeah, pretty large. That could be fun, though. I also think stuff like this could be cool, too. It's too bad you can't do custom. Because you could do, like, I could do, I could upload, like, a, a Transformers Autobot or Decepticon symbol. That would be kind of fun, too. You probably can with mods. So I need a couple of hard drives as well. Uh, I feel like I have... Mercer spheres. This would actually be handy. I can unlock that right now. Radar tower unlocked. The tower reveals resource nodes and other useful information on the map in a set radius from its location. Sweet. Uh, usually the higher you put those, the better. Scannable hard drive, that would be fun. I think we're stuck on most of these. Programmable splitter. Ooh. AI limiter. Let's make some AI limiters. Need 50 computers and 100 AI limiters. And 10 rebar. That I can do right now. Stun rebar ammo unlocked. This applies a moderate electric charge to the target, capable of stunning small creatures and moderately delaying larger ones. This is quite atomically exciting. <laughs> that was a physics joke. Well played. And what's this? Regular rifle ammo. Can I even build a rifle? Don't think I've unlocked. That's in sulfur. Right. Right, 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 right. I need the... I have to make that in a refinery, the smokeless powder. What does it take again? Right. The whole setup. Uh, 
Alright, AI limiters. Do I have any of those around? Not officially on Linux yet. Uh, I've seen some mentions that it potentially runs away using Steam Magic. Uh, it's on Steam. You can you can play satisfactory on Steam and on Epic. I play on Epic, but that's just I think luck of how I end up finding it. Do I not have any AI limiters? I guess I don't. Are we making those anywhere? I feel like I have them over here. What isn't available on Steam? Ooh, I have no AI limiters. Okay, those are a simple recipe. Copper sheet and quick wire. We need to make a quick wire run is what we need to do. Copper sheets we're not putting directly in here either. Some quick storage runs. We have copper sheets over here. I should really put in a hyper tube. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, there was a sale with Satisfactory and some other games right after release. Oh, yeah. That might have only been on Epic. Because they use Unreal Engine. Satisfactory does not have an official Linux version yet. I've seen mentions of it being able to run on emulation on whatever Steam uses, but I have no idea of the performance impact of that kind of thing, so I'm hesitant to buy it. Oh, yeah. No, that would be... That would be tricky. I do sort of like these little oases in the middle of the digital landscape. Not sure what to do about that cliff though. And Caterium. Another quick run. Or I should say quick wire, not just Caterium. It would be very interesting if this game did not have the jetpack and you had to actually make walkways. You were forced to use them all the time. I feel like it'd, it'd visually be a very different game. Your builds would have just like catwalks everywhere. Should be getting some. They are being shot over here though, are they not? Yes. Okay. Sixty-one. Is this also amped up? It is. I do not need you making computers anymore. What you should be making 
Is that guess high speed connectors or SAM fluctuators? Yeah, actually, we're good. I don't need this to be doing anything right now. So this just needs quartz crystal. We're probably going to be going over to get quartz very soon. And I believe I deleted my ramp. Yeah, so this needs to go 45 per minute. I'm just going to grab some for myself so we don't have none. that up get some more fuel I realize what I should be doing is putting uh, the the gas over here the uh, biofuel this should be going directly into a depot Pile of leaves looks really good. Cool. So now we will have fuel available to us uh, online if we ever run out while we're out adventuring. I'm going to leave two in my inventory. I'm going to put the other two in here. I uh, will grab the rest of those. I just need to bring some basics with me here. Computers. Did this have any in it? No. There we go. Concrete. Cable, wire, rods. I don't have any plates. Mosaic Dream, good to see you. Hello, welcome in. I don't typically need more than a stack of those. Rods. Uh, we need, might need belts. Sheets. Okay. I think that's good. So now, we have to find some bauxite. Probably wouldn't need to remove the jetpack. No, they would just gate it. So they actually made the jetpack available sooner rather than later. Coffee Scene had some co-op stream with some other studios. The spill last week, I believe, uh, the sale went, was when the sale that went down. Yeah. Yeah, the spill thing was, 
was big for like everything published by Coffee Stain or in partnership with Coffee Stain. Evening is upon us. Maybe take a break before starting the next thing. That's actually not a bad idea, Sandy. Not a bad idea. Let me just uh, edit the timetable here. We'll go Mirage, Fuel Jack. Turn on self driving. Folks, if you're new to the channel, I take a break once an hour, but in Satisfactory, that's about once every 50 minutes because uh, that's when the night falls. You get to ride the brake train, and I get to make more coffee. So I will see you all in about five or seven minutes.
Oh good, I'm coming right up on where I want to be. You used to be able to continue to drive after turning off self-driving, but now it has to come to a full stop, which is really annoying. Thanks for the lurk, penguin dude. Appreciate it. Oh, I missed the turn off. Whoops. Sorry. Okay. Things seem to be going okay out here. This is not on or it shouldn't be on. Right. So that means these should probably be nearly at 100%. That's good. So, bauxite. Where for aren't you? Bauxite. Nope, oh, that's not bauxite. Although we should probably look for some geysers too. That would be a great way to just add a little bit to our power network, especially because we have the summer sloop augmenter. Oh, I see it. Pure bauxite, pure bauxite. That's obviously the closest, so we'll check that out. Pure, untapped, and that's resource. I don't know that I have a bauxite color yet. I should have looked to see. No, nope. I should have looked to see if there was a um. If there was a. Uh, a way to import my colors from the other save. That would have been good, too. Bauxite, kind of like a reddish. Sure. Uh, let's go near on the compass so I can find it. And apply. There was another one over there too. The box set that I've used in the other playthrough was up in the red forest. Definitely more of a lighter color. And that's also pure? Yeah. Maybe about there. Oh look, humans exploiting natural resources for personal gain. How surprising. <laughs> oh look, he's coloring now. <laughs> Loki, thanks for the GLaDOS sticker and the 200 bits. I really appreciate it. That's funny. Oh look, he's coloring now. Look at the human use the crayons. Yeah, I feel like that's probably a better box set color. Yeah, it's like copper, but lighter. Does anybody know why these go green?
Yeah, I think that's good. So we'll add that and call that bauxite. I don't know why that's green though. Uh, one thing we could try to do is get up there with our zip line. Invalid aim location. It went white briefly. That's a little cheaty, but I'm going to do it anyway. The GLaDOS voice is so good. Just like the Claptrap. The Claptrap is good too. Oh, I see what it's on. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. But I think it's up there. Green map icons are a known bug. Okay, well, that's fair. That's good to know. Again, kind of cheaty. What I'm thinking is that we probably are going to want to bring this down to the water. So it's right up there. Oh man, that tree just doesn't render in at all. That's odd. I guess my foliage distance is a little on the weak side. I feel like it's going to be easier to get up here just on my own now. I should also be scanning for some stuff. I would not mind having some summer sloops. Speaking of... Ooh, there's a slug and a lot of bugs that is those are that those are big ones that's that's a nightmare if you were playing traditional survival without the retaliation stuff on wow uh where is the summer slip though it's a radioactive cave not fun times Batman. <laughs> yep. Very Batman-esque. Oh, there's a BC. There you... Oh, there's the node. I'm not seeing any summer sloop, though. But it doesn't help that things are not rendering in until you're right on top of them. Hmm. Probably down below would be my guess. Anyway, we're up here now for 
this. Boxite. Please and thank you. Okay, that's the one. And like I said, it's probably going to be easiest to just take the bauxite and refine it down by the water. And maybe add a train stop to that. So we will probably take it out that way. Unless we can go over this way. Actually, this may probably even easier. A little closer to this side. So we will probably bring the bauxite out and go down and out that way. And I can't do anything with this manually. We kind of have to do everything. Um, have to do everything in machines. Man, look at all the wood. We're going to be laughing for um, biofuel. Production. Uh, this is a pure node, right? Yes. It looks to be about the middle. Maybe one more. And maybe... Maybe you want to bring it forward a little bit. There's no way to drop it off the cliff into a waiting um, catch bin. No fix it yeeter 61,000 or 6,100. Uh, no, you can use um, flare um, conveyor lifts though. Conveyor lifts have a 42 meter limit, but if you put them between floor holes, like Sandy said, then you can get them to go the full length. So I guess maybe I'll actually bring it out Yeah, this feels a little bit maybe here. And we'll go down and straight out. And now, I guess it's probably easier to just bring this straight across. And we'll point this the other way. OK. 
Okay, do that. And we'll double check, I guess, the verticality on this. Maybe what I should do is do something next to it. Like a wall. That to me seems like, oh, no, no, no. Menus, man. The fact that they discontinue your floating is really annoying. Okay. That to me actually looks like we might want to go a little bit farther. chainsaw? I do. There's a lot of wood here. I, uh, I should remember that for any other kind of playthrough that I might do in the future where if you're in the, um, the desert and you need wood, is not that far from it. You know what? I think it might be time. Did not work. No, oh, he glitched out. Feels very cheaty. Maybe we'll turn these into um, DNA capsules using the Summer Sloop. Okay, so that's going to come over here. Uh, this is going to be... I might as well just... I don't know what we actually need for this. Um, we need to do this in refineries, I think. This is the first stop. Alumina solution and alumina scrap. 120 bauxite per minute. I only need to do a little bit of this. We'll just leave it as it is for now. Uh, we will, of course, need to power it. with that later. Oh my gosh, it's actually on the grid? That's surprising. That is very surprising. It's at 120, and this is going to give me 240. I should also change my color for something bauxite, sort of. 
just for fun. Unauthorized hostility implies that there is authorized hostility. Yeah, the game is like that. And it's unauthorized hostility against fix-it equipment, not personnel. <laughs> so they're worried about the gear that I'm wearing. So that to me looks like it's probably going to be okay. Um, let's change this a little bit just so it doesn't look completely ridiculous. do something I guess we could always do two meter here sure Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's too many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, four, five. Now we just go down. And because I'm working backwards with the power, this should be fairly straightforward. And maybe we'll give this just like a little something something at the top here. Just to say it looks cool. Uh, what could we do? Probably that. And then an upside down. Oh, wrong one. go from here to the middle
take the bower down the back. Does that look okay? It will look better if it was darker. one sometimes you think you're gonna come back to these things and then you never do so it's worth sometimes just making them just to look a little bit nicer the support here too. a little bit more intentional. Have you ever tried Go Away Green that Disney uses? No. I haven't, but I know what you mean. It's the, the green in the theme parks that makes the... It's like a, a green that no one notices. No worries, Sandy. Um, scritches for the puppy from everyone. Right, so this is going to go down. Now, unfortunately... A little tricky to there's no coordinates like in minecraft so or at least not in the game so i kind of have to just drop and hope i get this right i could just build foundations i guess but Sounds like bugs somewhere. Now, did that fall on the right one? Is the question. And is this high enough? This is definitely high enough. Uh, I don't 
know what I want to use for this. I guess we'll go one meter for now. This might even be the same height as the train. Actually, we're a little higher than the train. Wow. That's surprising. A longer way than I thought. Been thinking about using that green for the uglier parts of your factory. Have you tried it? Like, does it have you done a test to see if it works? There's another cave up there. So this is potentially too low. So what I'm thinking about is just making something that looks sort of intentional. That's pretty good. Why are you fighting me? Time to get rid of these. So let's go back here. I kind of like that other one. First, I gotta check to make sure I did this in the right spot. Which I don't know that I did. And this is gonna go out. Now I just have to get up there. So from floor hole to floor hole, you can kind of go an infinite length. It looks a little silly, but I think for a sci-fi build, we can kind of suspend our disbelief It's going to be a little bit slow getting back up. I might be on the wrong... Oh, getting close. I must be on the wrong spot. Crap, okay. I guess we have to build vertically. Uh, 
I obviously missed. I think I'm ahead by one. Give myself some platforms to come back up on. Oh yeah, I was ahead by one. Okay, that's not a big deal. We'll just back this up. I kind of thought when I got halfway up that it wasn't going to work. How did you, how could you tell, Wormbo? How could you, how did you gauge? I find the perspective in the game very difficult to gauge at a distance. And now all of these are in the way. What I should do is build a ladder. It felt off when you were standing at the bottom uh, and drew up the elevator? Yeah, maybe. I mean, not maybe. You're 100% correct. Good stuff. Now, unfortunately, the power will not reach that far. So we'll have to do something for the power. My guess is a beam. I missed the ladder. Can I build on this? No. Uh, oh yeah, we still got it. It's cool that you don't lose the grip when you go on the ladder, or not the grip, but like the um, the hologram. I guess we could have put like a strut coming out of the cliff somewhere halfway up too. I find building with the hover pack very tricky. Not the hover pack, the jet pack. Hover pack would be a breeze once you get power. these need to go. I 
Because I'll just fall and see. Do I like that it's beige? I guess we'll leave it as it is. Actually, a lot farther than I thought I was going to reach. Yeah, I thought we were going to have to put like three or four of these in. That's great. And I guess we can go. To, well, I'll leave that there for now. Put back in our little design. Still haven't set up a decent hot bar for foundation ramps and stuff. Looks a little silly. And power, I guess we'll just bring that down. I don't want to put poles on this because it's going to be so visible. Maybe we'll just do this out to the side here. Uh, how would be the, be the best way to do this? Mm. Sometimes it's fun to get a little creative with the stuff that you've got going on the side. Maybe something like this. Fortunate amount of Z fighting. I wonder if I could change that somehow. Anyway, we should be able to get this down to a node here. And we should be able to place a power node on top of this. Oh no.
Oh, it's weird that that's off by a little bit. Oh, we can't nudge up and down. Right. And then we should be able to get this to here. That's dumb. The fact that they don't have the same grid is weird, but I don't know, maybe this will end up looking better with a longer hole. use my blueprints, but I think my blueprints have got a different uh, material color saved into them. Still not quite there. I'm not sure whether we should just refine it here quickly. That might be the best way to go. I was thinking either that or we just get a little train going back and forth. Dropping stuff off. I've got that four I've got four cars there, right? That's probably gonna be the easiest thing to do. Well, let's go down then and we'll expand. Oh, did I grab twos? Those are all twos. Crap. And this is why... Uh, the dimensional depot is great, but it's not the be all end all because like I'm nearly out of concrete and like that's why you need like central storage for at least some of what you're doing. So unfortunately, I don't think a train is going to be able to go underneath this thing and look good. So this is going to be a slightly temporary setup. It might be worth it to drop this, but we'll see. Uh, this I do need the blueprints for. Those are all curves. Right, so I need foundation. Uh, four by four, four meter. I thought I had others. I could have sworn I had a two by two. Maybe I just decided it wasn't worth it. Well, 
Welcome back, Cindy. Welcome back. So this would be loading into a train station, but we've got nighttime coming. Because it would be the easiest to just add refineries over there where I've got power and belts and loading and unloading. And I believe that this painted blue section is where the next hover pad is supposed to be. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Probably from this structure here. I don't remember how far these were apart. 12, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, I'll grab my uh, brake train here. Table. Let's go to uh, Wheeljack and then Mirage. In the meantime, uh, maybe we can think about what might be a good name for an aluminum station, like Jazz or some other transformer that might be good with aluminum. I mean, it's technically it's bauxite, so it's not really aluminum yet. Um, if you're new to the channel, I take a break once an hour. Uh, there'll be a timer on screen. Grab yourself a coffee, snack. Uh, even grab a friend, let them know that we're streaming. I'll be right back.
I think I decided on one. And it's uh, actually not a silver transformer. You're right, Prowl and Jazz are probably some good ones, but um, Grapple is the crane, and he's sort of orange, which is sort of the color of Bauxite. And we're sort of craning this um, this material down, so I thought Grapple would be a good one. Just to name this, just to name the station. That's all. That's all. And now that I know that we're here, I kind of want to see where we are with this. I don't know if this is going to work. I mean, that is a low bridge. Oh, he clipped just a little bit. I feel like I should maybe lower this a little bit. I did not think about that. It's that either we lower it or we scoot it sideways. So we have more room. Scooting it sideways is probably the easiest thing to do. Uh, and we could do that at this junction right here. Kind of would make sense to scoot it sideways here. So like at is at that point so it would leave from here want to give ourselves a decent amount of room so we'll probably go over both tracks would have to come over Probably pretty good. I don't think we need these towers anymore. Pretty sure that we've got power coming from the train station. I'll have to double check that. Won't work on the way home. No, you're right. We probably want to nudge this left or right anyway, because it's going to not, I, th I think it's going to hit that. So the fact that we've got a couple of junctions here is not a big deal. Alright, so this can go off into its own station. What I need to do now is just figure out how we're going to set up the hover pads so that they make sense. So this is going to be a structure. And so I'd say... Whenever this would be, um, I guess something, wherever the curve, wherever the bend would be, is probably where we'd want this. So this is going to come to here. Right. Oh, um, yeah, that probably is, it's probably good. So we're going to come over one, two, three, four tracks. And I me think that means that we can probably only have to go out like, um, one, two, three, four. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Probably not. Try five.
No, I was probably in the way there. Too sharply. Let's try six. You'd have to be a little bit more in tune with the train spacing to have this all memorized. Six works. Okay. So then this... Uh, would we put it there? What I would like to do is try to nudge that back by a half. Let's see if that works. does. Cool. Now, I don't think the second side is going to look as good. I don't think they're going to be parallel. We'll see. No, they're not parallel. Okay. Dislike. Uh, what that means is, though, that this will be the hover pad. And it'll make sense because it'll start the straightaway. And then we can go back to doing uh, 12. So one. I think it's, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's the wrong color. Oh, it doesn't reach. Darn it. Well, I guess for this one, it might be better just to bump it back by one. It's because we didn't start in the middle. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, I guess we'll just fudge it a little bit. Because once we're on the straightaways, we want these to end in the middle. This is probably about where we'd want it to veer off, honestly. The question that I have is where do we have to put this for it to line up directly over here? We may actually have to move that. This is going to be farther along. So this goes to there. Maybe we just have to be one more forward. This has to be one more back, I guess. It's going to be a matter of like degrees here. It's not going to be one to one. Yeah, that gets wider. Okay. So a full foundation is too far. So this is in the middle.
This is the trial and error about the game that I find very frustrating. Pixel Rifts Raid! Hello, hello! I'm gonna increase the volume on my raid sounds. I almost didn't notice that. Vampire Live, good to see you. Voided Mirror, hello, welcome in. Mm. Doofus or Duffus? Doofus, I guess. Doofus Talon, welcome in. Thanks very much for the heads up on the Pixel Raid, folks. Uh, Pixel Rifts, what were you doing today? Was it Minecraft and Elden Ring? Or was it just, just Elden Ring? Uh, probably both would be my guess. And I think, was it a random placement of enemies or something? Uh, double bills as picks. Very cool. Uh, thanks for bringing in the viewers. Very much appreciated. Uh, folks in my chat, if you don't know, uh, Pixlrifts is my co-host on the Spongebob podcast and obviously streams on Twitch as well. Finished Minecraft right as they released the bundles. Oh no. <laughs> so it's out. It came out today. Bundles of Bravery is out today. Well then, that's cool. Well, at least you know what you're doing on the next stream, or you, at least you've got tomorrow without a stream to do like a, a spawn chunks, not a spawn chunks, a um, survival guide video. The spawn chunks on YouTube for anybody that's wondering. Uh, video imminent, yeah, for sure. I imagine you want to be on top of that, 100%. Uh, well, thanks again for the raid. Uh, yep, enjoy your dinner. Cheers, man. Uh, thanks very much. Appreciate you bringing over your peeps. Uh, folks, if you're coming in from the Pix Raid and you are going to stick around, I very much appreciate it. Feel free to lurk. Uh, I know if you've been hanging out with Pix all afternoon that you probably want to get a computer break in there. I'm going to be streaming for another couple hours, so it's a good place to hang out. We're playing Satisfactory, and right now we are trying to bring Bauxite in from way up there onto uh, a train and then bring it over to the station to unload and, uh, and uh, refine, I guess. So right now... The trick is uh, just trying to get the train over there, and I'm trying to make some parallel tracks and stuff. So if I switch back over here, I realized I was not on the right screen. Uh, yeah, we've got some resources on the top of the cliff um, up there, and we're just kind of getting some initial bauxite. This is not my my main build. We're just kind of this is where we're doing plastic and rubber and just kind of shipping it back to the grass fields where we're building. Um, so right now I'm just trying to figure out how to get this train track over here smoothly. And so far, I'd say I have to go at least two more blocks. So one, two, three. Oh, come on. I gotta get rid of this thing. So that was one pass, so we'll go one, two, three. That almost looks right. I think we have to go one more. I'll try from there to here just to make sure it doesn't... It's not an uneven thing. Nope, definitely have to go farther. Yep, you can hop our all kinds of stuff. Swatches, blueprints. It's very, very fun. Uh, that is almost even. I'd say we have to go a little bit farther. I know this is tedious, but I'm using this playthrough to learn some of the things that I find tricky. Build up some game knowledge. feel like I've gone the other way. I don't know how to really do this. You'd think there would be a way to do this and have them stay parallel. Now I feel like this one has to go back a bit.
And I hate that they connect with such a wide snap radius. It's not got too narrow. That's pretty close. So then maybe I need to bring this one back by one. I think this is about as close as I feel like getting it without going crazy here. Uh, so that... feel like that's still the right space for that hover track. Wide, <laughs> wide snap radius is a decent band name? You're right. You're right, you're right. Why do we have a connection here? That's not a thing that should happen. Straight track. these are not needed. have the hover pad there, another hover pad there, and then the other one will take us off to the side. Uh, <laughs> wide snap radius would not be your type of band, Sandy? Yeah, probably not mine either. Uh, so now we've got to get this over into a train station. And it's just going to be basics. So I imagine... We still need to build it five wide, and I'd want it to be at least two meters from... Because we'd have to get it to turn around. So it would have to be six meters from the intersection. Yeah, because I'd want there to be a T-junction coming out the other end. So this is going to come down here. How is this on the wrong grid? That's annoying. I built this. Oh, wait a minute. No. That's on the grid. Uh, this is not. Right. So this train station is going to be on the grid and the train tracks are going to have to do their own thing. Fair. Fair, fair, fair. Yeah, train tracks not on grid. Okay. Um, bup, 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 bup. So this means that this is going to be here. We're off by one. That's fine.
should be exactly one. Looks like it's exactly one. No. Oh, yes. There's definitely... That's right. Okay. So... We just can't have this be too close then. Because otherwise it's going to hit the tracks. I guess I don't need to do it on this grid. I could do it on the train track grids. Hmm. Chat GPT has designed the band logo. <laughs> it's in the satisfactory channel on Discord. That's hilarious. Wow, that is uh, definitely a vibe. I know exactly the kind of music that they would make, and I know exactly how little I would listen to it. Uh, it is not on Xbox yet, Josh Lizard. Uh, they are moving it to console version, but there's no real indication as to when. It's definitely a 2025 thing, though. Uh, but Josh, I'm glad you uh, you like it. There's lots of VODs on YouTube from me at Joel Duggan VODs if you want to check them out. You can, it starts off at the basics. Like we're well into like tier seven here, but you could start off with tier one on the playthrough. Ah, uh, I think it would be better looking if I had the train station lined up with with the tracks, but it might be easier to turn around and do a junction that way too. I think we'll stick with this grid for this train station. Um, rails hover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just using the foundations for placement and for snapping. Uh, I delete the foundations mostly afterwards. Just not um, stuff where it's underneath the train station, but um, what I basically need to do is I may need to make sure I'm like six foundations away from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I feel like that should give us enough space. Two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, we'll go here. And so this is going to roughly line up there. So I'll put the car there. way is the freight station loading is on the left it's the middle of that one so we'll be here so then the station will go there is going to have to unload over there. I don't remember the third car, not the first car. 
That's a pain. Uh, the first car is plastic. Second car is rubber. So yeah, I should probably do it on the third car here. So that's annoying. So then this is where the train station has to go. And then we do two blank freight platforms. And one This has to turn around. And I want to try to make a proper junction here. Yeah, so I'm making, um, actually I have the blueprint here. So I, I designed like a hover support. So we can put this down and it sort of looks like it supports the trains with like lights and gears underneath. And so it looks kind of cool. You'll see them in a second when we, when we get the trains going. Um, I think I'm just going to bring this out to here. Two, three. Three. One, two, three to here. That connects to there. And then this will connect to. junction. So this only has to go this way. So it's one, one, two, three. These things have to take such wide turns. Two, three, one, two. So then this one, ooh, it's maybe kind of tight. I guess I could back that up by one. Looks like a 90 degree turnaround to me. Not quite the same there. That's fine. But yeah, like Minecraft, uh, there's no gravity in the game, except for you, the player, and other animals. And I think objects, if you drop them.
and this should line up about here. Yeah. So we'll do cover pad here. And now I just have to get this over to the side. And I guess the easiest thing to do here would be just have something from here shoot off in that direction. And I think the easiest thing to do is just going to do it at like a 45 degree angle, right? It's going to be the easiest rather than trying to do some swoopy bits. Probably the simplest. Because I don't know what the calculation is on like going over one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we just have to go ahead six. We'll try that. Let's see if it works. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then this is one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, it works, so I guess we'll use it. Okay, and I said this is going to be grapple. That's plat. Uh, free plug on load. I want the station. Okay. Oh. Now that we should have power here. Yep. And now I just need to get that power over to here and get this down to the right level. Now this is going to need to go in a bin so I'll have to do a little bit farther back, maybe. Should I attach the bin? Probably to the train station. The bin should probably be on the train station. And I feel like we can tuck that underneath. height for that. Mm -hmm. So it'll be two going out. And it's not quite in the platform. Really wish they would have lined those up at the middle. That would have been nice. Frustrating. And we're going to want to use the fastest belts we have for the buffer. I guess they're both going to need to be lifts, aren't they? Oh, I did not give myself enough room. I 
have to back it up probably by half. Or belt. There you go. Oh, seriously? There we go. So that will come in there. Uh, and then this is just going to be a single coming in the back. Let's use a little off. And that's okay. That's probably good. I feel like we can probably just use a lift. And then the straight mode on the belt. Too steep. There we go. what I was looking for. I wonder if it's going to be better to have this come out this way. Maybe without, oops, maybe without this. And then we'll have the belt get as close to this as we can. Actually, we only need to mark three here. expecting it to do. Looks like that's the way. That's done. Now we just need to do the top part. Uh, quick question, are you using the world grid? Yes, uh, the, this is the world grid. What I'm standing on, the train station is not because the train tracks are off the grid. But as long as I stay on the... Um, sort of like I'm looking for the vertical grid then it's a lot easier to get back on if and when you need so it's more about staying on the vertical grid one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eighteen two three it looks like we go every 
go every six, I guess. Twenty one. So that's ten, so. One, two, three, four, five. This might connect. We'll see. Yep. Okay, good. I did not expect my entire stream to be setting up Bauxite. I thought it was going to be something a lot faster. Something a lot faster. Uh, I guess we'll go straight down to the edge. to make this a little tighter but guess we'll just go out this way Because I think this is just going to be sort of temporary for now, we're just going to run this underneath. That should have powered the miner. So hopefully we'll see some stuff come down here soon. Uh, Virgilis Zero. Early this morning I finished aluminum and took like 15 hours. Yeah, I'm just I just want to get like some quick sheets. You got our little we've got we need 300 alclad sheets. That's all I'm gunning for. I just want to unlock the hover pack and a couple of other things. But we'll have to see if this is going to start to, to fill up. Uh, we will need a dedicated train. So we'll need a grapple train. Transport. Electric locomotive. Please and thank you. 
It'll need three cars. One, two, three. Might as well make them all our bauxite color. Your name is now Grapple. Timetable is Grapple and Mirage. And now I just want to see if we've got stuff coming in. Looks like we do. Yay. So the next stop should be Mirage, which is going to take a long time because I don't have a way to get around that yet. So... Um, I have to go make a way to get to Mirage. Coal, sulfur, bauxite, and water, the most annoying I've had to place foundations because I decided to use the horizontal grid. Yeah. Ooh, what's going to be the easiest way to get down there? And this guy's now blocked because I did not install the right blocks. That sucks. I did not notice that. Aha. Let's go with... I'm not sure where the next type of thing is. I guess this would be a block. Now I need to get this train down there. I would say connecting to that is probably the easiest way to do it. So this is where, this is a good example of where we go from this train track being off grid to all of the stuff over there is on grid. And so you can see it's not quite a perfect split. So one, two, three, one, two. So I should be able to just go from there. Edge of the three, so right there. Too close. Overlapping another thing's clearance. You can't have you can have more than one intersection. I mean, I don't need this here. Uh, okay. I guess we'll just go from farther back then. Probably have to get rid of this.
One, two, three, one, two. All oh, right. Okay. Not far enough away. Another break already. Holy crap. Now that did not change the block. It was weird and annoying. Uh, and then this, I guess we just go back to, this would be a convenient spot right here. New towers and hover pack change of life for me after getting them um, spiders uh, so hard to kill that uh, jump like xenomorphs. Yeah, I've got passive um, spiders on because I just, well, passive everything. Yeah, I just, I don't like dealing with the, the flora and the fauna. Uh, I am going to, uh, I need to put down a brake train and make sure that we uh, can actually function here. Uh, folks, I take a break once an hour, and it is about that time. Uh, and uh, you get to ride the train while I do that. And I need, need to test to make sure that I've not screwed up my train network here. Mirage, wheel jack, save changes, turn on. Looks like we're good. It would give us an error if it was something was going to be thrown. So we should be okay. Um, I'm going to step away for just a minute. I'll be back in five or seven. Uh, with a fresh cup of coffee, grab a snack, grab a friend, let them know that we're streaming. I'm trying to grow the channel, so if you wouldn't mind spreading the word, I would uh, very much appreciate it. And uh, and if you are still around here from the Pixel Rift raid, uh, then thanks so much for sticking around. And I'll be right back.
Alright. Oh, I don't want to do that. I need to turn off the self-driving. There we go. Okay. Uh, now here, we have to do unload. This is going to be bauxite. And then we have to take it somewhere. Probably over there. Be my guess. So I'll be on this side. Thank you, Sandy. Good to be back. The coffee is hot. So, bauxite coming out this way, and I guess we'll just piggyback on the top of this stuff. say it was coming out of that 240 so we need did you know joel lets us use test to speech on his streams he regrets this decision immensely brought to you <laughs> by loki shadow legends i don't know about regret i find them kind of fun don't you but thank you very much for the uh, glados sticker and the 200 bits loki that was uh well, well played, well timed. This temporary oil area is starting to look a little sketchy. I think from here, we're going to take it over somewhere else. Uh, I hate that. I guess we'll go down this way. Uh, what do these need? As far as refineries go. Ooh. We are making a luminous solution. Uh, bauxite and water. We only need two refineries, so that's good. And the water. The water can come from very nearby. I'm kind of wondering whether I should loop it around. We can probably just put it here. I'm 
give myself some space. It's that, or we run it. No, we'll just do it here. I'm wondering if I can do some other crafting with the uh, um, aluminum scrap, like once I actually have it. We should be okay. This should only take these two. not lined up. That would have been too easy. So I can probably get rid of that and just have this go directly into the lift. Straight belts. Keeping your factories look tidy in 1.0. Fantastic. Uh, output. Uh, that's the first step, right? Aluminum scrap requires solution and coal. Right. I don't know where we're going to get coal. I wonder if I should do this back at the because there's no coal around here that I know of. You know what? I think we actually don't send this over here. I think we send this uh, instead back to back to home base. That's going to be a better spot. So we'll go turn that off and we'll grab the train and go down the other end. That means I don't have to have this, which is good because that's kind of sketchy. It means I don't have to make another loading and loading platform. Uh, I don't have any... I've got alt recipes, but I just don't have any aluminum alt recipe because I haven't been looking for them. Uh, wasn't They weren't coming up because we hadn't unlocked aluminum. So... Train station. This is going to be timetable. Uh, grapple. Edit. No mirage. We want wheel jack. This is probably full by now. We're close to it. Getting there. Why is that going in so slow? That's supposed to be Mark IV. Cool. Okay. And 
And at Wheeljack, I think I just have to... Um, I have to do this at a train station. At a timetable. Right. So we're loaded. Now we're going back to Wheeljack. I'll just have to bail and put it on manual drive when we get close. This end is a closed loop now anyway, so that's fine. And we'll have to delete these power towers. I forgot that coal was such a big part of aluminum. So I have no coal over there. I've got lots of water, but I've got no coal. So we'll have to do the aluminum, the rough aluminum setup back, uh, back in this grass fields. I wonder if I can set it up next to my um, biofuel, because that's the closest water. It may be either a manual setup or a truck setup to get things going. Because I don't need that much water. It's only like two water extractors, maybe? So I think people might have seen these when we were on the break. Um, but the um, the hover uh, decks seem to be um, pretty believable as far as I'm concerned. I've even got a single line to design over there too. We've got coal right there. And we've got more coal coming in when we need. As far as I remember. Do I have a third platform here? I do. One, two, three. Unload, that's good. Mm hmm. Right into the rocks, they say. I'll put these. Maybe I'll move it over in between these two. I could move it along underneath wheel jack and get it over there. It's probably the best thing to do. throw it right here. I do wish that the system didn't require these buffers for the trains. The fact that these trains um, stop unloading when they're animating, it's a weird... I don't know whether they designed it like that intentionally or if that's just something like a... the way it has to be, I guess? Uh, 
Uh, this one would be the lower one. Just coming in over the rock. That's box site coming in. So we might have to just manually feed this for now. But we've got tons of it, so it should be okay. In terms of just using it to unlock our next situation. Uh, turn on self-driving. I'm going to jump on this quickly to... Are you doing double inputs or an outputs just to speed up the transfer rate between the storage and the boxes and the train? Uh, yeah. So you want it to empty faster. So if this was going into a machine, then the outside of this would have one output uh, because you're only going to get the throughput as to what your um, as to what you're uh, making. So it's still only 240 per minute. We just have to make sure that the 240 would stay consistent. So it's just kind of like good practice to have the buffers. Um, it means that when the train has stopped and the animation of the unloading of the train is going on, your flow to your machines would not stop. In this case, it's not a big deal because we're just kind of doing like a very small manual um, aluminum plant. So it's not a big deal. But on my Devastator playthrough, we have like 1400 bauxite coming in per minute and I have to make sure that that 1400 bauxite is a continuous flow. I don't want stops in it. So I'm just checking to make sure that all of our uh, blocks are in the right place. Um, I need to create some blocks at the station. So uh, when it gets to the offshoot, I will probably turn off self-driving again. So this should switch. Yep. stop there for now and then I need to put in block signals here I think I made these tracks too early. Um, this is going to end up being a path signal, but I have to redo it. That's not going to work. So to kind of give you an idea how um, these work, all I do is delete these guys here grab the blueprint for uh, no block signals no tracks and no block signals so I just put that in here I do have to nudge it a little bit let's make sure that the arrows in the middle And then when you delete everything else, you're left with this thing that looks like it's got like energy on the bottom. We tried to make it glow, but unless you've got lumen on it, it really doesn't do, do a heck of a lot. And then we were putting block signals every second. 
then this is the one that would need block signals and stuff. And it actually needs a couple um, because this is going to read this all as one block, unfortunately. Right? So we need to put another one somewhere here. I wish it would let us... Now, why it snaps to the other side, I don't know. But we can't just put this anywhere. Oh, you can. I thought you couldn't. So this technically should be a path signal. Is it blocks on the way in and... It's paths on the way in and blocks on the way out, right? That's how that was supposed to work. And then block on the way out. Path in, block out. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Exactly know where I want to put this. Um, that's just because it doesn't go anywhere, I guess. Nothing is going to be going that way anyway. So then we'd have paths and blocks here as well. Originally I had paths and blocks on the blueprint, but it ended up being um, better to do the paths and the blocks myself. This is going to be a path. And this is going to be a block. Oh, but then this doesn't connect at the right spot. Um, Oh, did I click right? I clicked right. Okay. What do you mean it's too short? One. Oh. Again, I'll have to rethink this. Path block. I guess technically there's not an intersection, so this should just be a block for now. Eventually it'll be a path. Probably doesn't need to be. Looks like we got green lights. Doing double inputs and outputs just to speed up the transfer. Yes, I already read that. Sorry. Thought it was thought it was train track related.
So I'll leave this up here for now. We'll add in other stuff later. bad habit of leaving a lot of foundations hovering around. That's good enough for now. I could maybe even... Well, I'll leave that in there. And then we'll put this one in. Run up the middle. Oh. Don't delete the good stuff. Technically, I'd probably make this a signal one as well, just for the sake of it, even though we're kind of close here. grab this one as well it's really mind-blowing how quickly it you know it comes together once you've done all the planning laying in the blueprints and all the prep work that you've done oh I can't do that one okay fair enough uh, I'll just paint this one and we'll come back to this later Just so we know there's supposed to be a hover thing there. And the last touch, I need to get rid of these. How close do I have to get to this? Seriously? Can I not dismantle that? Oh, that's too bad. I don't remember if we've got power coming off of the train station. I think we do. I would say yes. 
So I could probably delete this as well. And not have this whole thing shut down. That looks like it's still going. Yeah, the extended range is for connection. That's what I was thinking too, Warmbo, as I was expecting it to give me a little bit more. But it did not. Uh, I'll leave this here for now in case I need it later. I think we're good. We have bauxite coming into the main area, which again, that took far too long. That's why I like the Devastator save, is that if you're going to spend this much time um, collecting something and, and belting it somewhere, like, you might as well do all of it, you know? So when I did the Red Forest Bauxite, I grabbed all of the Red Forest Bauxite and put it on one train. And that was, I felt, a better use of my time. But at least now we don't have to come out here and get the bauxite, which, like, depending on how much, because bauxite goes so quickly into a luminous solution, I would have been wasting a lot of time coming out to here manually on trains getting it. So having it automated, I think, is probably the best best course. It's too bad that the, um, the empty cars don't have more of a space like sci-fi look to them because I feel like the train just kind of rolling around on just the empty car is a little bit strange. We could probably actually add uh, a bauxite we could probably use the Mirage train and just add a third car um, that would mean that would mean actually giving a, a north entrance to Mirage because then I could have one train stopping at the bauxite, stopping at the plastic and, and rubber, and then coming back. That's what I should do. Instead of two trains. Because timing doesn't matter right now. Timing is not a, a big thing because the plastic throughput is below capacity, and the bauxite throughput would also be below capacity, so we'd be fine. Yeah, I could go from Grapple to Mirage, Mirage to Sunstreaker, Sunstreaker to Wheeljack, and then Wheeljack to Grapple. Totally could do that. Well, I was going to switch gears and do some decoration on Sunstreaker, but I think it's probably better to just go ahead and see what we can do over here for some sloppy Illumina. We do have some space. I think we could probably do it. Um, I want to dump some wood and stuff off first. And I guess we'll just bring this over. I need to change the foundations too. He's back to normal. We will have to build higher, it looks like.
I think this should still be on the same grid. Yep. Okay. So, can build up here. Gonna need a water extractor. That's potentially where it's going to go. Some walking space, so refinery would go here. We're going to be making some silica, so that's good. We can store that and then sink the rest. So it looks like the water is going to be coming over this way. We need 18360. That's three water extractors. It's not nightfall in the game, and you don't need a break right now, but it's night at my place, as Sweet Sandy. You need to get some rest. Take care, chat, and sweet dreams when it is your time. Thanks very much, Sweet Sandy. Appreciate uh, all of the modding and the help today. I will be sure to pass everyone on to somebody else playing Satisfactory when the time comes, which will be soonish. Um. This is what I want. I need three of these. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit three of them next to each other. I maybe should have turned them sideways. That's two. We may have to get creative with this one. Don't think it would have worked this way. Probably could have done it that way. Can you nudge these? No. Of course you can't. That would be too easy. The 
because then I can't see the back of it. It's annoying. lucky. Good enough. Oh, that's going to be real close, isn't it? Is it going to let me do that? I hope it does. Don't think it's going to. Ah, uh, it's annoying. It said yes. I guess we'll find out. That's that part done. Power comes in over here. Probably better off to pull it from over here. Boxite we're going to have to hand feed for now, so that's going to be a box over here. And that should just go to splitter. I wonder... Or I could just take it out of the top, couldn't I? That would make more sense. And then we should just be able to nab the splitters. Uh, 
Have them snap. And that's not going to be the prettiest, but whatever. Good. And then output is going to be aluminous solution silica. Aluminous solution we will just put into a buffer for now. And we'll line it up with this one. Industrial fluid buffer. This we'll do over there. I wonder how far I need to go to get this up a little higher. Do it in three. Survey says yes. Autosave is really throwing the glitches now. And this is... Maybe it'll go a little bit lighter. It's a luminous solution coming out and then silica and for that we're going to need an awesome sink oh i didn't mean that much oh i did because hitboxes are dumb really wish they would fix that I feel like I've covered up a truck path with this build. So then we just need a merger here. Find the pipes often look like they hold themselves up. Joel, Joel, um, I can't remember what I was gonna say. Probably from that psycho using me as a basketball. Anyways, oh wait, I think I am seeing flashes of color. Maybe it's pink. Yes, that's it. But why? Cosmic, was this your doing? 
<laughs> well played, Penguin Dude. Thanks very much for the 200 bits and the TTS sticker. And yes, it looks like it's time to grab a break too. Um, no, we're not going to be able to turn this on. Where can we? Um, aluminum solution, silica. I just have to power the, the water and we should be good. Bring this down here. Kind of on the back, aren't they? Not the cleanest look, uh, but that should give us, what is it, 360 water, it's 120 per, provided this is enough head lift, this is 8, 10 meters, I don't think we need a pump. Maybe we do. Nope, we're good. Okay, so now we just need a load of bauxite for the bin. So we'll at least get a bunch of scrap or aluminum solution built up. Eventually it will stop. We also are going to have free silica, which is great for building with glass, so that's good too. We've got a full bin of silica, or of um, bauxite. I'll more than likely put a temporary belt from there over to here. Although this is a pretty quick run. Uh, this also needs to get hooked up. So that's coming out. We need Mark 3 up here. This needs to be Mark 2. And this needs to be a mark two. And then the silica actually needs to have its own bin. I don't think I need a double bin. I think a single bin should be fine. Smart splitter, missing a limiter. Oh, they don't have that. So we'll do silica, overflow, and then what's the rate on this? This needs to be a 120 line. can just be future-proof. 
this is only going to go until this is full. And then we're going to have to manually flush it. Okay, so that is the first step of aluminum started manually. Um, we can't do anything with the aluminum solution, but we can turn the aluminum solution into um, scrap uh, with coal. So we'll have a couple of refineries here facing the other direction, and we'll bring the aluminum solution will eventually go this way. We just have to add coal, which again, we could manually bring some coal over um, or I could belt it over. But we do have some extra coal kicking around. I just have to figure out where I'm storing the excess, um, but should not be too hard to come by. Matter of fact, we can probably just put those two guys down here. And this would be scrap. And we could just continue on this pipe. And have this as, as a buffer, but not have to worry about it. Cool. So that took way, 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 way longer than I thought. But the fact that we've got bauxite coming back and the fact that we've got coal coming in, I think we should be good to get aluminum unlocked for tier five belts, which is what I really wanted. Uh, the coal is coming in over here. And I've been wanting to sort that out. So that'll be a good excuse. Because this is just temporary. But we are bringing in... I think it's a full 480. I don't know what my map says. Yeah, overclocked to 480 per minute because that's our belt limit. We could get 600 out of that, but we need 480. So we're not using 480 in here. We're probably only using 240 for the steel. 40... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so I'm only using half of it. So I've got 240 coal spare. So that means... Oh, another autosave. This is really shaping up to be a very strange little temporary area. Uh, aluminum scrap. Hey, look, it needs 120, which means that we have, we could just take that extra 240 coal and dump it right in here. Uh, 240 per minute. It makes 120. Yep. So that balances out, at least for the starter area. That means we're using all of our coal. Um, we don't have anything for like black powder and stuff like that, but we can always use another coal location for it. But decent shape for aluminum that is where i need to wrap things up folks it is the end of my day uh, i'm going to send you all along to somebody else playing satisfactory just give me a, a minute to try and grab somebody here It leaves behind water though. That's fine, Warmbo. It's a manual setup anyway. I'm not worried about. I'm not worried about the the water. We can actually loop the water back into the system, and and remove one of the water extractors. So it'll be fine. Uh, I'm not terribly worried about it though. Uh, let's just see here. We've got uh, ammunition. House of Meza. Let's raid uh, and musician. They're always uh, a good time. Uh, so we're going to pass you on to Anne Munition, and I will, of course, uh, see you all tomorrow at 1 o'clock Atlantic, UTC minus three hours, at least for the next couple of weeks. And uh, don't forget to check out the Spawn Trunks podcast, brand new episode out yesterday that is available at thespawntrunks.com or on YouTube at the Spawn Trunks. Very easy to find. 
You can check out patreon.com slash Joel Duggan if you'd like to support the stream and join the Discord. Or if you've used a Twitch sub today or even used a gift sub, then uh, you can use three free months of Nitro in Discord. Uh, so that's if you gave a gift sub or if you've used a tier one sub. Uh, details are in the chat uh, with links. If you do bang Nitro, then you can uh, check that out. There's also a timer. Should be able to um, show you the details. That's available on um, Twitch until the 31st end of the month, Halloween. And uh, yeah, everything else is Joel Duggan. Very easy to find uh, at uh, Instagram and on Twitter. That's where I post when I go live. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks again to Sandy, who is no longer here for the moderation. Uh, Hello, there's Cosmic coming in at the last second to throw in a link. Appreciate it, Cosmic. And uh, thanks to Penguin Dude for the stickers and Loki Loki for the stickers today. Uh, And to Pixelriffs for the raid. I'm glad everybody came in. I hope that you stuck around and enjoyed Satisfactory. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.